Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad Reviews with me, David the Beer Dad. And in this review, I'm going to look at another Modern Times beer. This is one I bought from uh, Barton's in Ashton Makerfield earlier on today. And this is the Modern Times Black House beer. It's a uh, coffee, roasty and it's a stout. And it weighs in at a hefty, where are we? 5.8, it says so there. And the expiry on this one is covered by the logo. Get to that in a minute. Paid £4 for it. See the logo off and see what we get, what, what's what. There's a canned on date here. There's all the information I need. <sighs> Love these logos. Price tags. Need it. Here we go. So canned on a 27th of June this year. So there's no expiry, but there's a canned on date. Not bad. So, the Black House Modern Times beer, uh, 40 IBUs, the coffee is 75% Ethiopian, 25% Sumatra, and the malts are Turo, Kiln Coffee, Flake Barley, Pale Chocolate, Munich, Crystal 60, Roasted Barley, Midnight Wheat and Oats, says so there, and there's a whole other guff about the beer. I like Modern Times beers, I like them a lot. Um, the City of the Dead, big bomber one up did, <coughs> probably early on this year. Um, beautiful beer, cost me, cost me an arm and a leg, to be fair. Uh, but anyway, these do good stuff. Again, out of San Diego, the three reviews I've done tonight. Um, this is the third one from a San Diego brewery. Um, pop a top, let's see what we get. Eh? I know, sort of California. They've got some cracking breweries there. I know that for a fact. I know people have been out that way. They've told me so. But mod, mod for me, modern times, really good. Anchor, the old Anchor Brewery, really good. So there we go. Beer and last then. What have we got? Jet black, jet black beer. No light getting through it at all. Have a look at that. Decent, isn't it? With a two finger of tan head. That's purely down to my pour and nothing else. This looks like a really good stout. Let's get a nose, that's what we can smell. Oh, wow. There's chocolate here. There's coffee. There's dark roasted malt. Taste. It's sorry. It smells delicious. I've spilled a bit, so I have to wipe this up before I forget. It smells like a decent stand. It smells stronger than what it actually is. Let's give it a crack. Let's taste it. Cheers. Oh, wowzers! Carbonation is super light. Kind of just goes, psh, goes like that. It's, it's literally carbonation gone. Body, <sighs> bodies are like the light to medium body. Um, it feels rich, but doesn't. No, it tastes rich. Doesn't feel rich. Um, it's, not, it's not thick. It's not. It's not heavy, but it's still silky smooth. Taste wise. Taste wise, you are looking at exactly what you what you get on the, on the nose. There's chocolate, there's coffee, there's roasted um, malts. It's a good, good stout. It's no sort of um, hefty beer. It's not like a, a big, thick bozo beer or um, Guinness. It's not Guinness. It's not a Guinness. Um, it's better than a Guinness. Drink a lot of this gear and still I think nothing of it. It's absolutely beautiful. So, Mod Times Black House, the old uh, coffee roasted stout. If you've had this beer, let me know what you think because I think this is fantastic. Um, I would buy it again. I would recommend to friends. I know a few people would like this. 
Yeah. Should be Frank Tittle, you would like this one. Uh, Say in the comedy if you're watching as well, I know that you would like this one as well. Hey. I am um, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's no one I know come from Dry Gate, but it's not bad. Mm. Um, so yeah, I like it. I'd buy it again. And uh, I would recommend to friends. If you've had it, let me know what you think. Put a comment below. Um, like that if you like the video. Like that if you don't. If you hit watching for the first time, please hit the subscribe button. Cost you that and the bell as well. Let you know I'm doing a lot and doing another update. So I'm out of here. See you in the next one. Hey Leo.